uh, day five. Slowly packing up camp, off grid camping. We did well. Only one little bag of rubbish the whole time. You just gotta get the blower in, clean all the floor. The oven's clean, it's all our kitchen stuff. Always. That's Kenny's box of stuff. And he's just pumping up some tire pressure before we go. Oh yeah, and we use this fold in the half table which slots easily into the back of the ute which comes in handy on every camping trip for a woman to spread her kitchen wares out. Here you are, our camp's all neatly packed up. Hi babe. Yeah, well done. You're just trying to find the rings to go on these things. You found them. What are they called? Safety clips. So it's good because we had this spot all to ourselves here. Hi, babe. There was two campers over there, and the main camp where the toilet and showers are over there in the river. But we didn't see as many birds as we hoped. There's heaps more at O'Brien's Creek. Hey, babe. all the campfires out. A little Sterling Z pop up. And the back of the cannon all packed up neatly.
to you? Yeah. Let me go through one more time. Uh, no, you get me confused now. No. You get drinking the water, babe. You're confused. You always got to check the lights are working. Yes. 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 Uh, one more important tip that I almost forgot was take the handbrake off. So you have it on when you're camping? Yep. And turn it off when you're going. Station. Uh, it's near Georgetown. It's in the middle of nowhere. Bundi. Bundi. Yeah. Where the dog bears are. Yeah. And we're heading off to Georgetown just to have a look at the museum there on the way home to Townsville, which is approximately about 500 kilometres away. So yeah, no, it's been a good adventurous trip. In Georgetown, about 40 minutes? Oh, about 40 minutes from here, I think, yeah. yeah. And we got Foster King Museum with crystals, hey? Yeah. fortune to set up to go you know off out grid? in the bush yeah, off grid yeah we've been off grid now for six days <laughs> yeah, the car cost me 36,000 two years ago just over two years ago uh, the camper van was eight thousand dollars hey and that's it it's all set up ready to go glamping yeah a little bit of glamping it's quite comfortable actually yeah you love that bed in there don't you oh, i do i sleep really well it's like a cocoon yeah uh, the dust doesn't get into the camper because it's just full of dust, bull dust out here. And you said what, it's anti-dust material for me? Oh no, this is canvas but it, it seals, it seals. Uh, the camper lid seals really well so no dust gets in. Yeah, that's it. There's a, a working cattle station so you've got to make sure you shut the gate so the cows don't escape.
when Kenny and I were looking at station stays, we saw Western Station Stay as well. So that might be one you want to look up. Another spot, Western Creek Camping Ground. Station Stay? Yeah. Good old dog. Yeah. So he would have loved it out here as well. 